Hi, I'm Chris Alliston, Senior Vice President for Specialty Polymer Coatings Incorporated. We are the industry leaders in anti-corrosion technology. Through innovation, excellence, teamwork and experience, by maximizing every employee's potential, SPC will provide superior quality and customer service to every customer, while constantly striving to improve and innovate every day. State-of-the-art technologies, innovative business strategies, behind the scenes, insights from cutting-edge users around the globe on World Business Review with Alexander Haig. Welcome to World Business Review. I'm Alexander Haig. The corrosion of our natural gas and oil pipelines is a problem that could cost taxpayers billions of dollars. Here to discuss options to prevent decay and preserve structural integrity is Bob Alliston, President and CEO of Specialty Polymer Coatings, or SPC as it is called. Welcome to World Business Review, Bob. We're delighted to have you. Thank you, Al. It's a pleasure to be here. Good. Now, also joining us is Chris Alliston, Senior Vice President of SPC. Welcome to you as well, Chris. Thanks, Al. Now, our industry expert for this segment is our old friend, Dr. Richard Moss, Professor of Environmental Science at the University of North Carolina at Asheville. Dr. Moss, it's always a pleasure to have you as well. Thanks, Al. It's great to be here with you on the show. Good. Now, Bob... What is SPC doing to prevent corrosion of our gas and oil pipelines today? Well, we make a line of very uh, high quality polymer coatings uh, that can be used in the plant or in the field from environments uh, as far north as the Arctic to tropical climates. Very good. Now, Dr. Moss, what effects can the decaying pipelines have on the environment today? Well, Al, obviously we know that if, if any of these pipelines completely corrode, that they will leak large quantities of oil into the environment. That can pollute groundwater, it can pollute surface waters, and I think we've all seen the damage that oil spills can do to our environment. Now, for more on this very relevant problem, let's go to this World Business Review field report. As new pipelines continue to be laid beneath our roadways, environmentalists and the public alike are concerned about corrosion and leakage over the years. Specialty Polymer Coating's new technology solution has zero solvents evaporating into the atmosphere. 100% solid epoxy coatings are environmentally safe because they have no VOCs, and once the chemical reaction has taken place, they become inert, so there's no leachates into the surrounding environment. New materials and application methods are currently being used in the Alaska Highway and the Mackenzie Valley Pipelines, bringing Arctic gas to processing plants in Canada and the United States. SPC Specialty Polymer Coatings has 35 full-time employees. Um, our head office is in Langley, British Columbia, and through the head office in Langley, we have a network of agents and representatives worldwide with a manufacturing facility in Brantford, Ontario, a new manufacturing facility being constructed in Houston, Texas. Uh, we have sales offices in Calgary, Alberta, Houston, Texas, and New Orleans, Louisiana. Leading the industry in anti-corrosion technology, a group of consulting engineers and research and testing organizations work together for continual improvements on the process. Specialty polymer coating is a world leader in epoxy and urethane technology because we are innovative and we are able to meet our individual customer needs and we can tailor coatings to specific areas um, where they're having difficulty with corrosion or abrasion. So therefore, we're able to fill market niches that the big companies are unable to fulfill. For World Business Review, I'm Michael Clark reporting. Now, it's your turn, Chris. Uh, up to now, what has been done to preserve these pipelines? Well, historically speaking, uh, pipeline companies used to protect their pipelines with asphalt enamels and craft paper, uh, such things as coal tar epoxy. Uh, in the mid-70s, they started coating pipelines with urethane mm -hmm. materials, and now we're using epoxies and fusion-bonded epoxy for mainline coatings. Very good. Now, Dr. Moss, what is the annual cost of corrosion worldwide? That's a big question. 
Al, yeah. you would be astonished at, at the, the cost that corrosion has in the United States and across the world. Um, just this month in materials performance, uh, there's a study that shows that the annual cost in the United States is $276 billion from all types of corrosion. Of course, worldwide, that would be close to a trillion dollars. Uh, amazingly, this is e equivalent to about 3.1% of the um, gross domestic product for the entire United States. That's, that's a mouthful, isn't it? <laughs> now, Bob, what is the meaning of 100% solids when applied to liquid polymer coating systems? Well, 100% solids is a trade industry term. It means no uh, volatile organic compounds, or VOCs. Mm -hmm. In other words, no solvent. Well, Bob, could you tell us about some of the different types of coatings that, that are used? Well, uh, across the industry, uh, there's a number of different types of coatings, but they break down into two major types. One is, uh, uh, a coating that protects uh, steel uh, by using a passive corrosion protection system. That, in other words, you put inorganic zinc on the surface, put an epoxy top coat on, which will be solvented, and then a urethane coat on top of that, which will give UV, UV protection. These types of coatings are generally used for above ground uh, uh, structures, such as offshore, the structural part of offshore rigs or uh, bridges. bridges, industrial plant, that sort of thing, tanks, outside of tanks. The other type of coatings are barrier coatings. That is the type of coating that we make. Uh, barrier coatings use a different mechanism. They prevent uh, water and oxygen from getting to the steel and create, creating corrosion problems that way. Now, Chris, why are 100% solids liquid coatings becoming so popular? What is this? 100% solid liquids coatings mean? 100% solids means that there's no solvent in trapped in the coating. Uh, basically, the applied thickness is the dry film thickness. There's no shrinking of the materials. Mm -hmm. uh, they're becoming popular largely due to the environmental concerns that people have yeah. uh, with depletion of the ozone layer, but also ease of application is, is primarily the biggest thing. Right. Now, Bob, how long does these, this application process take? The application is amazingly quick compared to conventional systems because of the lack of solvent in the coatings. Mm -hmm. uh, typically, you can apply uh, in very high film builds. 20 mils, for example, would be uh, a normal for a corrosion protection coating. Uh, you can put 20 mils of coating on with 100% solids at the rate of between four and 5,000 square feet per hour. A conventional coating system, say a three-layer coating system like I previously described, would mm -hmm. be about 1,300 square feet per hour because of the solvent. You've got to put it on in thinner coats and you've got to allow the solvent to dissipate. All right, now is the time, gentlemen, where we uh, take our guests into the future and our expert as well and ask you to predict what you see coming down the road in your industry uh, in the near term, the next year or two. How would you uh, predict this, Bob? Well, uh, I see our, our participation in the industry, our sales growing very rapidly. We're back on a very accelerated curve because we are introducing new polymer coatings that far exceed anything that has ever been done in the past. We now have a coating that can go on wet pipe this makes rehabilitation in the ditch on live lines possible. Before it was always a Band-Aid with a tape solution and it doesn't work. Uh, we have low temperature curing epoxies, which has always been very difficult in the past. You had to go to the polyurethanes with the lower uh, temperature resistance. Uh, now we can go epoxy. We've got high temperature epoxies that can go well up over 300 degrees Fahrenheit. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, this, uh, these are all new innovations that are, are just uh, going to really accelerate the use of these materials in the market. Another really important thing is uh, working with uh, uh, countries that uh, cannot necessarily get these expansive plural component machines required to spray 100% solids. Mm -hmm. 
we've managed on two of our formulations to get our coatings into a single component that can be sprayed with conventional airless pump. Very good. Now, what's your take on that, Chris? Well, just to add a little bit onto what Bob has mentioned, uh, we've, we're developing coatings where a blast or blasting of the pipe is not feasible uh, and, and we're getting good adhesion rates with the materials. Uh, but we're also focusing on new types of substrates that they're introducing into the pipeline market, polyolefin coated pipes, uh, which we refer to in the industry as three layer pipe. And I see that becoming mm -hmm. a really big area for us as well as rehabilitation of existing pipelines. Very good. Now, Dr. Moss, what, what would you be your prediction? Well, Al, in this day and age, no one is going to continue to put out any kind of oil or, or gas uh, pipeline without good coatings on them. Mm -hmm. And so clearly this is a rising industry <clears throat> that has uh, continues to develop. And this, this company is clearly on the cutting edge of developing uh, new coatings that can be applied by, while they're wet. Uh, they uh, have life expectancies of 40 years, and so uh, certainly we're seeing something uh, where this uh, coatings technology continues to evolve, and, and we're seeing a company that's on the cutting edge of that. Yeah, and all being driven by increased demand uh, for energy and aging uh, systems of infrastructure that we have today. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Now, very good. Now, gentlemen, unfortunately, the clock tells me we're going to have to terminate this extremely important and interesting discussion. But before doing so, Bob, I want to thank you. I know your reputation in the field, and uh, it certainly showed today. Well, I, I would like to thank you, Al. It's a real honor to be here. Good. And Chris, uh, you're a chip off the old block that's <laughs> uh, going to learn it all, too, I see. All right. Thanks. Thank you, Al. Very good. And Dr. Moss, we're indebted to you as always. Thanks, Alan. Very exciting technology we're looking at today. And thank you for watching. Until next time, for World Business Review, I'm Alexander Hay.